with world points on the line and having your name immortalized in the YCS Hall of Champions. These two duelists made it happen. Don't forget, there's some awesome prizes to be had as well. And that's what you can earn of playing these YCSs. But then don't let that fool you. These duelists worked hard, put in the hours, put in that time, dueling against 1,800 other duelists and making it into the finals. The first one that'll be coming to the main stage is Pascal Kane. Come on, come on, come on. Um, how are you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, you're still sick. You're still feeling, a bit, have a bit of a cold and stuff. It's been, you know, a bit of a walk from over there to, to over here. You've had a very clean one, playing, very clean run playing at this YCS, you know. Do you think you'll take it? Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of 50-50, I think, so. We will see. I'm not sure about the final now. Okay, so I guess you're a bit nervous too, huh? Mm, actually, yes. I would lie if I'm not. Because I wouldn't see it on your face. You look so cool, calm and collected. That's pretty cool, man. It's good keeping cool under pressure. Well, take your seat. Your opponent's coming on the way. And coming in from his 2-1 upset, his premier top for the, more um, the most umpteenth time till now to date, Joshua Smith. <laughs> Like I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even like shake your hand for the multiple time already. We've been, been here on the stage together for like half the day. I'm not gonna take up your time too much. Um, you know, I'm gonna even not gonna even ask you how you're feeling about it because now you're you're pretty nervous. You're ready to get going. Uh, do you have any like any motivational quotes? Any Joshua fast facts for us today? I don't really have anything ready. I just want to play. That's all. Okay, <laughs> he just wants to play the game. All right then, thank you, Josh. Take a seat. These two duelists are gonna be playing their heart out for all the awesome prizes you saw just now. And of course the bragging rights that goes along with it. They've played to death. But don't forget, it's not only with the crew or the cast or anything, it's also the awesome judges that put in a lot of hours and work into making sure our events are run well. So shout outs to them. You guys are awesome. Nobody give the judges enough credit. So without further ado, while the duelists are getting ready, I know the crowd is ready. And let's go to the trifecta of casters, Marcello, Leonard, and Sebastian. Welcome to the final of London. This is what we are here for. This is what we've been waiting for. It's Joshua against Pascal. Will we have a three-time champion, three-time YCS champion, yep. or will we have a first-timer? Either way, Germany is going to take it home. Yeah, actually, I have a house in Germany. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, nice, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. That 
<laughs> Too bad that size matters as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have to take that one. Wow, what a final. We have seen both players on stream before. Joshua is here for the third time today, for the trillionth time yeah. in the yeah, history yeah, of Yu-Gi-Oh! These players have been playing their hearts out. Wow. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's absolutely... Well, no one can actually take anything from these guys. Uh, there are no surprises from being there. Even though, as JJ mentioned, their life wasn't easy. We just witnessed Joshua could have lost the, in like five minutes in the semifinals, yeah. yet he's here fighting yep. for yet one more trophy. Will he take it? Also, like Pascal is undefeated so far in this whole tournament. Yes, he hasn't right. been defeated in Swiss and he's That's true. going through in the top cut now as well. So this man is hard to stop for this weekend. So he's definitely not too much of an underdog right here. He definitely has his shot to win this one. No, he has performed his Sky Striker deck so well. He was, he's been playing super strong this entire weekend. We've had seen like this super long drawn out game in top eight. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think still a 2 0 for him, though. Yeah, that's true. So and that yeah shows you that he can keep up with the pressure. And yet, once more, new forbidden list. It's for both Sky Striker and Orcus, especially Sky <laughs> yeah. Striker. Huge I would hits. say everyone would have thought yeah. it was dead by now. Once more in the final, and Pascal might be the guy who does take it once more to its glory. Back to back YCS London Sky Striker winners. Mirko Sonelli last year that with Sky Striker. This year, Pascal Kim again. Let's see. And head over to our feature match table. Finals shall begin now. And crowd is going wide with it too. So let's see the starting hands and how this plays out here. Both fan looking very good at the moment. We see Demise and engage at the end from Pascal is wow. absolutely oh, wow. incredible. It's stacked, definitely. Who's going first Compose. here? That's the question. Compose, there can be only one engage area card of Demise. This is what you want to see if you're in the finals of a YCS and you see this hand. What oh, do you yeah. think? What do you think? Oh, you got to be excited and it will depend on the die roll. Let's see who is going to go first. Because uh, there is an Ash Blossom regardless in Joshua and but it is Pascal. Oh, Pascal can start off here. It's so good for him. He can all look at him setting all these cards and yeah. Joshua already knows that this card of Demise is coming. But Ash he Blossom has the Ash comes Blossom. down. He has the perfect response. So now Pascal has to make sure that he probably will want to get his engage off for a an additional draw. Oh, Let's and it's see the new it artwork Ash Blossom, by the way. It is, it is from, from Duel Devastator. Devastator. But the engage is also there, and Joshua is not maining any aid for this yeah. matchup. No Twin Twister, nothing at all, so there can only be one is there, and the Traps might win yet another YCS for us. Compulsory evacuation device, and there can be only one. Those are so powerful, especially in the Orcus matchup. That is 100% true, and he does not even bother to summon any more cards. Ooh. Obviously, Card of Demise was activated, so no special summoning yeah. of Sky Striker Shizuku in this turn. And now it's Joshua's turn. Five cards left in his hand. He just picked up Infinite Impermanence, which is not really helping him too much. I mean, if his opponent tries to summon out the Kagari in his turn, he maybe can use it on that. But he would require to put cards onto his side of the field before, I would guess. So that's not really yeah. happening. happening <laughs> for him at all. So orchestrated battle. We have seen this card being drawn a lot rather, yes, than, it's <laughs> rather than setting it. Yeah. The one-offs. Also, like Gizmek Orochi has been drawn so many times on our featured matches so far. So we have the Harp Horror. Instant Fusion is probably going to bait out the Sky Striker Ray effect. Something oh, not that yeah. works as well. Yes. Joshua playing, it's kind of slow, but something important is that you see a face down spell from your opponent and he didn't use the effect. That's yeah. gotta be a tell that those back rows are really good. Otherwise, yeah. you can expect Aria Zero to just try and destroy one of yeah. them. And those are, in fact, uh, really good traps, so. Absolutely, that can only be one and compulse. Does are you just going this? to compulse? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to ask, and you are oh, wow. indeed. I mean, how is Joshua going to recover from this this turn? How can you play with... Like, the normal summon is so important for the deck right now. And now he can actually just tribute Ray to go into Shizuku for the end phase to get a free search and get this multi-roll into the game. Oh, yeah, and he passes. He so passes. The way is free for Pascal to actually use the effect of Ray here. That's what he's doing. He wants to get out Shizuku right there. And he can't use Impermanence right here, other because he used the Babel. Do you think that was a correct decision? Because if he would have kept the Babel and just attacked there with the Arp, then he could have passed holding the Impermanence and used it on the Shizuku, I guess. Yeah, so. I agree. 
That might have been a play from Joshua, but here, Pascal definitely in the lead. Wally Willy Drew. Okay, and another another wow. Purple well. cards all over the place. This card might even steal yet another turn, an entire another turn. Yeah, the new Orcus deck is definitely uh, really strong, but it struggles. The normal summon is way more important yeah, than ever. Yeah, it is super ever. fragile, especially yeah. when it comes to this weak point. Yeah. It feels like when it gets going, it's even stronger than in the past, yep. but it has to get, get going. Yep. And you saw Joshua in the semifinals also having struggled to get it going, because first duel he wasn't even summoning a monster in his first turn, and the other two turns, the other two duels, he was just not being able to do more than a normal summon at all. And already with the Area Zero, there is a counter on the multi-roll. Oh, it is not necessarily a counter. Yeah. It is rather a spell that you can set in the end phase, and he goes into a Hayate already. And again, one oh. more uh, slight surprise, I gotta say here. He doesn't go for Area Zero at all. Yeah. He just wants to set up to free spells with the Kagari, but he will be met by the Impermanence. So we still have a game on our ends. and. Uh, and let's hope Pascal is not doing the same impermanence mistake like Din Kam Pham in the oh semi-finals. Yeah, please. <laughs> but this time it will be difficult because yeah. Joshua set that card in the same column as there can only. So, But I mean, if there can only be one can now stop Joshua on his turn. He has no impermanence Absolutely. to out it, basically. And so Pascal really in the lead to take him on. Also, uh, Pascal played it really well by flip, uh, flip flipping the fuel spell. So yep. that now there is a counter and he can set the engage if he yep. wants in the end phase, getting yet another copy, or he can play conservatively, uh, setting like a Widow Anchor or a yep. Shark Cannon. And I think that's uh, what he is going to go for. So Shark Cannon, but can he activate it? Is there a monster in the Yeah, the Ash, the Ash Blossom. Blossom. Oh, of yeah, course, right. there was the Ash Blossom. So you can now set engage. And Shark, and Shark Cannon, Cannon, which is uh, even the Eagle Booster, Eagle Booster to be Booster, fair. Yeah. That's probably it better. Sense, and uh, think, yeah. fantastic opening once more. Joshua not maining any of uh, the back row removals, so yeah, it will he, be tough. He probably thought the same that we all thought when we saw the Forbidden Limited list yeah. with Anchor at 1. You don't really need to play <laughs> the Twin Twister cards or the Cosmic Cyclones. Pascal is proving us Maybe. wrong. Pascal is showing yeah. us that Sky Striker is still well alive. Absolutely. And he is well on the way to take game one right here, being resource-wise in the lead, having four back row cards yeah. and a multi-roll to get even more going with that. And instant fusion comes down, so this might even force out the Eagle Booster. But would it be so bad for Pascal to have the Eagle Booster forced out? Not really. I'm, I'm, yeah, <laughs> it's just a spell that he activates not. so he can set back and gauge, right? <laughs> yeah, it is uh, gonna be used uh, at some point. And here, once more, with the choice of the compulsory, if he wants to use it just on the normal, because we know the Babel is there, so he, he doesn't yeah. have to forget about it. But he could also just flip the. There can be only one. So he cannot extend. Yeah. He might extend into Phoenix yeah. then. So that might be an issue. So Compulse could actually be. I mean, if he goes into Phoenix, then he can Shark Cannon out the Hop Horror. Absolutely. So at the same time, you really don't want to do that because then the Babel can yeah. uh, just uh, be used in that case. So You can uh, also just Compulse the Galatea and then Shark Cannon out the Hop Horror. I think that is yeah. a good compromise for him. Let's see. So still very open. Uh, Didi Crow being picked up by Joshua, definitely not what he wanted, but now nope. he can chain the Arp and chain the Galatea to get some advantage. For example, he can get the return and oh start right, to get the just chain Galatea, right. It's so yeah. good for him right there. That's why I was really wondering why it, you wouldn't just compulse there yeah. if you did last yeah, turn on a, on a normal. Seems like that's the good part of compulse, right? You cannot actually put the cards into the graveyard and that would favor the Orcus deck. You yeah. just get it back to the hand and it's just way more better. So. Kind of a misplay, maybe there. I, I think so. Because one more, once more, we see how good even art drawing the Babel is. It makes yeah. uh, a lot of difference, and uh, still wondering why that compost wasn't flipped before. So, I mean, there is still the, there can be only one for Pascal. Sure. That can really stop Joshua from going off. He just has to secure that it goes through. So he can has to kind of protect it with setup yeah. from Phoenix. Because as long as this card is on the field, Joshua cannot really play. Definitely I agree, not. but you're taking like unnecessary risks, I feel like. Because if you compose there, then you're yeah. free to basically go for the Hercules base next turn and another engage for free. Just get a lot of advantage. And uh, In the shoes of Joshua, do you actually know that there's, there can only be one? Because Pascal did not pop this card and he did not activate it yet. So what kind of back row could there be for Pascal? Maybe another compose, but also very likely is there can only be one. Yeah. I would, I would always say anchor, but I uh, maybe impermanence really as well could be an option. So there are still a lot of uh, different cards, and uh, 
Joshua seems like he didn't pick up anything else though. Our Porter and Armageddon Knight not gonna help him here. But the DD Crow can be can used the on engage, the engage. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That is so now do you good. set the area zero most likely, right? Yeah, you still want to go for yeah. that. You have plenty of targets in uh, Pascal Dax. He's using so many spells, almost yeah. 30 spells in his deck. So. so what is he drawing? Did he pick up the engage from the top? <laughs> As Guy Striker players love yeah. to do. It looked okay. It is a spell. Oh, that is okay. That is yet another <laughs> pretty top good, deck. Pretty good. Pretty good. You want to put spells in grave as fast as possible, and I think afterburner was picked up. And that is not too bad, to be honest, because it is a way to get rid of Orcus Nightmare. The card cannot be destroyed by Link yeah. monsters, which is actually hard for Pascal to get rid of, and he can get rid of the Babel for the moment. And it's kind of an effect that a lot of people tend to forget. I think, like you usually just use it for material. You don't have it on the board yeah. hanging out, and uh, uh, you can catch a lot of people off guard with that. Especially Sky Strikers players. Yeah, so he just summoned out the Hayate and he's sending something away with it. So he still deals damage right there. Yeah, he loves to send away his Area Zeros, yeah. honestly. <laughs> area Zero must feel kind of bad, actually, because it's yeah. getting such a treat by Pascal and always being sent to the graveyard. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of risky, but at the same time, it is gonna work out. Uh, does he have three spells in Grave? I believe so, right? Yeah. So he will be able to destroy the Bibble at Resolution yeah. and that's great because it was probably the main threat. So uh, pretty Absolutely. good pick up there. So now this Area Zero though, what will it reveal? That is very crucial. And what are you even popping here? Okay. I mean, you're probably yeah, you have chaining to. the shark oh, cannon, of yeah, course, absolutely. getting rid of the Nightman. That is why it was so important that the ba Babel was uh, popped as These well. These three cars are going to be... Oh, oh wow! Engage! Sky Striker mobilized! Engage! This wow. card from the top is not what Joshua wanted to see. It is the cherry <laughs> on top for Pascal Keem, and it is going to yeah. taste bitter for Joshua. Shaking his head, of course, can't blame him. And luckily, there are no impermanences being activated this turn, so he can choose whatever <laughs> zone he wants. So. He was doing his best, actually banishing the engage with the crow, but the second one comes from the top by area zero. So Pascal has the best card yeah. in his deck available. Summoning to the again. Shizuku before activating the engage, so you can He's respond to He's not going to use it uh, to search another copy. That would be like so greedy. That I would think. be very greedy. I mean, you can just yeah, set it with no multi roll, right? Exactly. That's so. why I was like. <laughs> the, oh. the one off copy of Widow Anchor. Yeah, the one copy, but he didn't need it up until yeah. now. And uh, still very strong, because just like Compulsory, similarly, you can just take away the Orcus Monster from uh, Joshua, and that way you prevent it from uh, just going to the graveyard. Oh, he, I think he drew another engage. Wasn't wow. it another engage? Reinforcement of the army. Oh, okay. oh it oh, looks no, no. so similar. <laughs> 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 Let's chill down for a moment, yeah. <laughs> but still, something else to set if he wants. And. Ah, an incredible line of play here. Uh, and the he, deck still as yeah. alive as ever. And he can just grind like with the multi-roll. It is as it, if, if it was yeah. at three. As long as you have one on the field, it doesn't matter how many you have in the deck. And to be fair, I think people kind of... Uh, didn't expect this, as we were saying. Like, if you prepare for Sky Striker as you did in the past months, you're gonna see cards like Cosmic Cyclone, Twin Twister, Ghost Ogre in the main deck, and you can see that those would have been just a game changer here. But since people expect this Sky Striker not to be there, yeah. they are not using them, and then the one copy is just as good. Also, Ghost Ogre isn't that strong versus Sky Striker anymore Absolutely. because apart from multi roll, you don't have any targets. So if you draw two, the second one might be a really bad copy in your hand. I'll one of the best draws here from Joshua, though, being the another return. So he can fish for more cards, but yeah. he picks up Phantasme and Symbol. Not the greatest. So you probably have to react on that Armageddon Knight there. You have your Widow Anchor. I mean, you don't have to react. You can just wait until he goes for a Phoenix, and then you can... I mean, you can, that can only be one after a Machine Monster is summoned. Okay, so he can just take it if he wants to. Okay. He can also just set the Anchor back in the end phase with the multi-roll. Definitely. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting here because now he has our Porter again and the symbol, but yeah, and he, he maybe needs access to another monster because he doesn't have it at the moment, right? He maybe doesn't even want to go for uh, the, there can only be one because that would stop him from going exactly. for Boral Sword OTK in the next turn because he can take back the Armageddon Knight Shark Cannon out. And if that's he has it. Oh, wow, he scoops. Pascal <laughs> takes the first game. Wow. To be fair, you have to say the underdog takes the first game. Yeah. The big name Joshua Schmidt being defeated here in game one.
Pascal Kim calmly picking up his cards. <laughs> Sky Striker really on the way to win yet another YCS, even after Kagari, after multi roll and after Widow Anchor have been limited to one. Yeah. So right there, we want to see what is going on in the crowd. So let's have a look to JJ. Okay, thank you, Sebastian. Right now, we have an exhilarated crowd. And one of his best friends, actually, Teufel, wanted to give a little bit of insight because he's also a bit of a professional player himself in the competitive Yu-Gi-Oh scene. So what are your thoughts? You know, Joshua dropping game one. It's not over yet. Uh, do you have any thoughts about this matchup, actually? Uh, I think the matchup gets easier after siding because Pascal is playing a really back row heavy version of Sky Striker. And Joshua doesn't have any back row removal in his main deck. He has cards like uh, hand traps, which are not that optimal against a back row strategy. But after siding, he will have those side deck cards that will be very impactful. And I think Joshua is a really experienced and calm player, and he won't g get tilted or anything like that. So he will play it out, out calmly after this one. Okay, that's some really good insight. Like, so how would you rate this matchup in terms of percentages? Like 60 40, you know, 70 30? Uh, the Sky Striker deck is really good against Ogres because with a, uh, Shark Cannon banishes great cards from the graveyard. But w as we saw in game one, Joshua uses, can use the field spell of Ogres to play around that because all his effects become quick effects. And I think Joshua will use that also in games two and three. Okay, thank you, Teufen. That was actually some really good insight. Have one of his amazing professional friends helping us out, giving us a bit in depth look into this matchup. We'll head over right back to the casters. Okay, so now we are still contemplating the side decks from these players. Uh, as Typhon mentioned, one of the best things about Joshua's deck is that even if he doesn't side that many cards, he has three copies of Return, so he can draw into them very easily. And that might work out for him, so what do you think he's gonna board in? <laughs> There's one really, really obvious choice I want to say because he's actually sideboarding Imperial Order, which can be a blowout card versus the Sky Striker deck, obviously. Kenny picks it up, he goes first, uh, he's and uh, the Twin Twister oh, is there. Also the Twin Twisters, <laughs> oh, of course. Pascal starts with double engage. Oh, oh really? Wow. Yes. And the Ash Blossom to stop the return as well. Yeah. I think Joshua's only line, if I can still see, is return <laughs> plus Nightmare. And uh, le let's check. It oh. is. Return and return is going to wow. be the Ash it. Easy and if he ash does it, ash wow. it, wow. But I mean, the, the turn is still not over. He can yeah, normal summon the Ash Blossom and then just the Nightmare. Double engage in Cosmic Cyclone. Yeah, that wow. is maybe a problem for him. Such a, such a, wow. But don't forget place. that Joshua still has the Ash Blossom and he can, of course, also set up the Twin Twister, yeah. which is crucial to get rid of the multi-roll, which is such a problem card, as we have seen in game one. Multi-roll completely dominated the game. Oh, must be wow. feeling good to actually draw double engage in the finals, right? Yeah, plus the cosmic. I mean, you get the medal for fusion, but I think you're happy enough with what you have drawn yet. So, uh, Joshua, of course, doesn't want to give up, and he will try his best to stay in this. Uh, you think he's gonna get for the crescendo or what? Normally, the crescendo play hasn't been too popular lately because Babel is much more superior. But against Sky Striker, particularly, I can see crescendo being better. To be honest. Yeah, I mean, especially because he has the Twin Twisters. Sometimes you can argue for the Dingirsu play, because you can get rid of the multi-roll immediately, but he has a, an option to get rid of the multi-roll, so he does not necessarily need that. So rather, set up the Crescendo, which would be hit by Cosmic Cyclone, but Babel is actually being used, so he wants to go for this Grindish approach, because if, if you can activate all your monsters' effects on your opponent's turn as well, then you do not really and have a that problem. that means that Pascal will know that there will only be a face-down card from Joshua, but he now ends on the Ngirsu yeah. and doesn't even set the Twin Twister, which Ooh. I think is a smart decision. Yeah. What is picked up by Pascal? Is it another engine card? It's Ray! It's Ray! <laughs> oh that is my God. so crazy! What a hand! What a hand! This is basically another free surge. Uh, he would have searched the ray with engage, right? So yeah, wow. he would have to. That's have to. as good as it gets. You now can get the multi roll, and yeah. even the metal for fusion gets better because you can yes. send it off there. Wow! Do now, you just start off by activating the cosmic cyclone on the yes, Babel here? Yes, you of course do. I guess so, but at the same time, there is nothing in his graveyard, right, outside of symbols. Okay, so but he, he yeah. will have to do it because he can. I mean. Yeah, but you you want the spell in the graveyard, right? You want to summon yeah. the ray then, and then you can get rid of the. Um, of course, yeah, also goes. Cosmic Cyclone is better if there's nothing in the grave because then he cannot profit off of it. It's better than. Of course. 
So now the Babel is gone uh, forever. Yeah, and, that's true. Uh, let's see, because the Ash Blossom is there. Will Joshua use it here? That's the main question. If he does so, then oh, he would he have been no it. But then now, the second again. Yeah, multi roll can send away again. the multi uh, the, the metal wow. pulse fusion. Wow, that is going to hurt so bad. This is gonna be so bad for Joshua. He cannot uh, Ash engage anymore. So, wow. He, he he was maybe thinking that okay, he's going to search array and then he's going to try to recover the engage with. Wow, uh, this is going to hurt so bad. Oh, I can't even wow. watch this. This is absolutely crucial. Another engage coming down. Wow, wow Pascal Kim. There it goes. Double engaging on Joshua Smith. Drought is going wild on him. too. Wow, they love it. Sky Striker still being a fan favorite. So many YCS wins already. Pascal on the edge of adding another one to it. And what is he searching for you now? He wants the, the anchor. anchor. Yeah, he needs the anchor. <laughs> Can he, he OTK? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Definitely not, no. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I, mean, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be too unhappy with that one, but still. Picks up a jamming wave, uh, the first uh, kind of useless cards in his hand. But I can, I can think <laughs> so of him many that. resources. So many resources here. I, I don't think he's crying about it too much. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Because he can just go into Kagari and add back another engage to just resolve another one. In your first wow. turn of the duel, you're just resolving so many And he has the Metal so Fusion engages. draw as well. That's it's three crazy. more cards that he's just going to add to his hand. If he drew like that, no way he's undefeated yet yeah. in this tournament. <laughs> I this do agree with just that. Probably better than what we have seen in the uh, premier days of Sky Striker. And wow. Pascal Kim perfectly executing this perfect Sky Striker hand. Double engage, drawing into the ray, having the Cosmic Cyclone for the Babel, which really hurts the grind game of Orcust as well. Just look at Joshua. Like, uh, you never saw him, his posture oh, like that. His hand right. uh, is almost red, like, really frustrated here. And you can't blame him. Like, you're not able to do anything here. You just have to wait for your opponent to resolve his advantage. And it's already uh, starting to feel a little gross here. Yeah. We were talking about it before the match. He's actually been in four YCS finals so far. He won two of them, lost two of them. Yeah. And now he's equal for the moment, and he would get into a negative violence right yeah. there. He and even that's picked not up really the back and to only go. be Which, one. To be oh. fair, I think. Or oh, another engage! Not what? Really. No what way! Is this? this is incredible! Is this? this is absolutely no The crowd goes wild. What I hope you can this? hear it. This is. What is this? Yeah, you couldn't have done better. <laughs> the heart of the cards. Atom oh is just sitting in Pascal, drawing one card off. After another, this is the heart of the cards right there. He is made to win this final versus Joshua Schmidt, arguably one of the most famous players, and he doesn't even bother to cut the deck of Pascal. He is just tapping onto it. He's I don't care. No, to win this final. You, you cannot top deck engage anymore. I don't care for it. I do. You cannot draw engage anymore. It, I don't wow, know. I don't know. this is incredible! This is, uh, Would you ever think that someone I've can draw like this? I've never seen something like this. It's absolutely amazing. Engage like, of engage wow. of engage in the finals of a YCS. What madness uh -oh. is this? I was literally about to say, do not take Joshua for granted. He can come back, but then the third engage even. Wow, I, I'm That's speechless. one too much. Definitely I'm one speechless. too much. I'm speechless. It hurts too much. Oh, and he still looks so calm. I mean, we, we're sitting here crying, basically, oh, but yeah. Pascal just sits there calmly drawing engage after engage after engage. Really wow. a deserving champion by executing so well Pascal so Pascal is really a pl pro player. No yeah. matter how good he draws, he's just going to stay calm, focus on his game Absolutely plan, and like, execute it. I don't think you can ever see someone who's keep on drawing this well, just staying this calm. And to be fair, that's really important because yeah. we saw it in the semifinals, like the same with Vinka. And it, maybe he got too excited that the yeah. game was over. And uh, it is something that can cost you it. And Joshua throws another Ash Blossom. Oh. Wow, that's going to be super rough. <coughs> Joshua really not having anything to play. Wow, both players top decking all those same cards over and over again. But Joshua is maybe not as happy as Pascal is. <laughs> I don't think so. Kind of a 50-50 matchup, as Pascal said before the round, but Pascal really, really being in the lead at the moment and it's not looking 50-50 anymore to does, me. Does he even still have targets for engage in his deck? <laughs> it's cool when you have to worry about that. I think you're yeah. in a good spot. Do you, you think there is a way in which he just takes the yeah the Thousand Nice? Because now he banishes it and Joshua is holding into the Twin Twisters, which he might use now. That's what's going to happen. but. Trying his best, honestly. What can you do? Like, your opponent is drawing godly. You have to try something here. 
I mean, do you get rid of the multi roll right now? Do you try to hurt for your sure, opponent? For sure. Like, yeah. what can you do? You have to destroy something, and the good old multi roll is just the resource that, machine Seth? of the deck. I mean, if he can manage to get the Dingirs into the graveyard and start playing with his engine a bit more, then he might actually have a comeback in this one. Oh, that was the second shark cannon. Yeah, the That's shark cannon good. is gone, and now uh, he will need to find a way to get rid of this. He gets the cyclone, not exactly what he was looking for. And uh, maybe this game is still not over, surprisingly, because now he has the Widow Anchor, but he needs to find a way to get rid of this Dingirsu that's staying there. He can Anchor, take it, but what can he do after that? Because he cannot access his Shark Cannons anymore. Unfortunately for him, Joshua hit the second Shark Cannon with the Twin Twisters. Yeah. So maybe you just uh, chill here and maybe yes. you go and yeah. search for the Hercules base, I was thinking. Because then if he still has yeah, it in his perfect. deck, I guess. Yeah. You can destroy it with uh, jamming waves, for example. Let's see if it is still there. I mean, it has to be there because he's not playing Pot of Desires. Yeah. I was meaning just if he sided it yeah. out. Oh, oh yeah, that, that is possible. Absolutely makes sense, yeah. right. <laughs> so it seems like that's what he's doing. He's going to play this slower, but now the Ash Blossom can finally yeah. come down to stop the Shizuku. And I mean, next turn, he can just take the Dingirsu and attack for a game, right? That's the plan. I think he's he setting up for 4, that. Now. Possibly, yep. possibly. He is at 4,000 indeed. And, and he has five back rows more. still. <laughs> yeah. Even after Twin Twister, five back rows still fighting for this. Is he going to go for Hercules base? Let's see. Yep, he there is. it Seems is. Like he is. And he oh, takes the whole Last tools. second he so changes. So He is setting up for a potential for, for, OTK. For, yeah, potential OTK, right. Yeah. Let's see, Joshua. Can he draw something useful? It's Armageddon Knight. Let's see. In theory, that is pretty useful, but we do know that Pascal is still sitting there with so many back row cards that can hinder him from playing, basically. And I mean, he has two, there can only be one. Yes, indeed. <sighs> what but can he go for? for? What can he go for? Because then the last card in his hand at the moment is the Ash Blossom. And uh, <clears throat> if he sends whatever Orcus card here, he will not really be able to use them well. So. I mean, even if he goes for a Phoenix to destroy it, that can only be one that might be flipped right now. Yeah, if, if he wants to flip it, then he can just flip another one. Yeah, and also, how, what do you go for if yeah. you go for a Phoenix there? Like, it's... And where do you go in general? And here, the there can only be oh. one is flipped. In response to the Orcus effect, so nothing happens with it. Yeah. Yeah. Harper cannot special summon out anything right there. Our power is wasted, making a, a Marmageddon Knight essentially a 1400 go for uh, Vanilla monster, yeah. What so Yosha thinking do? about it, what is crossing his mind in this moment? But oh. now again, Pascal cannot take the Dingirsu to deal major damage, because that can only be one locks him onto one machine type monster. But he has the cosmic cyclone to get rid of it if he feels <laughs> oh like it. Oh my god, yeah. yeah, he can actually like go for that. Like if he has game, why wouldn't you go for that? That's you can true. just cosmic your own and then just go for game. If he feels like he has enough, he has all the tools available. So he picks up Didi Crow, yet another really <laughs> good card. GD Crow is so powerful. Both players decided to play it, and it seems to be like the best hand trap maybe in the actual he format. Can, he can Cosmic Cyclone, there can only be one, activate the jamming wave in his hand to target his own anchor, chain the anchor to take Dingirsu, and, and then pop the pop. armor again yeah. tonight, and then yep. he has enough for that game. That seems to be the route to go. Un unless Does he, he see is it? still at 5,500 life points, which it I don't think so. It seems so, but like, he's considering oh, it, and that's yeah. what he goes for. He is going for this it. This man is not afraid of commitment, and he will <laughs> try and go for it. So. Okay, so two cards of Pascal's side go. I oh, really go. like this. Like you see, especially in the finals, players getting extremely conservative. Yeah. Pascal is not afraid. He knows what he's doing, and now he's gonna figure out how can I go for a game in this situation. So is he slamming down the jamming wave? He, he is really indeed is going for it. He is going for it. He oh. might chain the anchor. Takes the Dingirsu. Might chain. <laughs> Ash Blossom does nothing. Takes the okay. Dingirsu, gets rid of the Armageddon Knight, turns oh. it into an attack position, attacks with both. And, and there's the handshake! Pascal Keep! Engage Pascal into Engage into Engage winner. Sky Striker! Wins the YCS London 2019! The crowd is going wild, we are going wild, everyone is going wild basically. What was that? Absolutely insane. Joshua was by far the favorite walking into these finals and yet again went through an unbelievable semi-final just to lose brutally to Pascal. 
Wow, Pascal's friend coming there to yeah. congratulate him. They want to see, look oh. at Dinkam Pham. He didn't make it, but a friend of him made it, and he's still yeah. happy with him. That's so cool. Sportsmanship Absolutely. all over the place. But still, really, really congratulations to Joshua Schmidt making yet another YCS final. I mean, he's one of the best players in the game, and he was for a long while, and he still is, as he's shown. Absolutely, fifth final is in Korea, something that everyone wishes it yeah. would be in uh, under his belt. And uh, I mean, he has a two, yeah. three records in finals, but everyone would wish for those records, oh, right? Absolutely, <laughs> they would kill for that. <laughs> and uh, as you're saying, very, very nice weekend, a lot of stories, a lot of uh, uh, revenges, but in the end, the income, as you're saying, comes with Pascal. They prepare together, yeah. they choose different decks, both in the semifinals. One of them loses to Joshua, the other one takes him down, and Germany is crowned champion for YCS London. That is how it is, and look how proud he stands there. He hasn't shown a lot of emotion, but right now he cannot hold back his smile. Pascal Kim is our champion of YCS London 2019. So let's hear from him with JJ. I am joined here with our YCS finalist, the winner of YCS London, Pascal Kim. How are you feeling, man? Feeling great. I was sick, but now I win, so I feel great. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, man, I have a special prize for you. Here you go. This is all yours. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for our YCS champion 2019. Now we'd like to thank each and every last of you awesome people for tuning on in, stopping on by. There has been an awesome and prestigious moment for all of us here. Having our YCS champion stand next to us, do you have any inspirational words for any duelists who want to come up and who want to go for it? Actually not. I'm kind of nervous now and... Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> no, no words, no words, no words to express how much he has to express. Thanks for stopping by. This has been YCS London. We'll see you next time in YCS Milan.